JD Healing Vibes Meditation Series 1 ASMR Style Day, everyone. I'm Jenny and this is actually my very first meditation video. So I hope you'll excuse me. I'll be a little bit rough around the edges, especially in the beginning. But hopefully as I progress I'll get a little bit better. Now what I'm going to be teaching in this video series is meditation and I've also styled some of the material in an ASMR way which hopefully will increase the relaxation effect for you and your enjoyment of the material as well. Namaste. Namaste. An ancient Sanskrit greeting. And it simply translates into the words, I honour the place in you where we are one. 
And this actually really sums up the ultimate goal of a meditation practice which is a personal practice when done regularly can bring you to that peaceful place of unity and oneness. And it can also help you to live your life as much as possible from that place. In this first meditation series, I'm going to be presenting a very ancient meditation practice or tool which comes from the yogic tradition, Japa Mala Mantra. Japa is repetition. Mala is a string of sacred beads, such as those that I'm wearing. Mantra is a sound vibration. This series will consist of four lessons, and this one is the first, and it's going to contain some introductory material being the first session and in each of the sessions I'm going to be explaining the tradition and taking each element one at a time and going to just give you a, a little bit of detail on that element and then we'll be doing some practice with it. In this first video lesson, I'm going to be focusing on the element of mantra, mantra, and in particular using the so-called supreme mantra, Aum, Aum. In the second video, I'll be focusing on the element of mala and we'll be specifically looking at the 108 bead mala from the yogic tradition. In the third video, I will be teaching you some variations of the japa or repetition and how you can adapt them to suit your own personal practice. Finally, in the last video, video four, I will review and extend our practice of these three elements. And we'll also be looking at the visual representation of the mantra Om and how that can be used to expand and enhance your Japa Mala meditation practice. By the end of this series, you should be able to continue your own regular personal practice as part of your daily routine. So, Let's get started with the element of mantra. In the ancient Vedic traditions, the sages or the great teachers devoted their lives to studying the primordial sounds of nature, the sounds of creation and how they could be harnessed for healing for healing on all levels of being. These sounds were captured and formed into combinations of vocal vibrations, 
which they ascribed as mantras. It was observed that when these mantras were repeated regularly by the user, they had a harmonizing and entraining effect on the physical, emotional, psychological and spiritual aspects of the user's being. That is, the user's nature moved into homeostasis and balance. As all forms of disease arise from some degree of imbalance, mantras could therefore be used for healing purposes. Supreme among the mantras was the primordial mantra Om. Now, just before I continue with a little bit more of the explanation, I'd just like for you to get a feel for the sound vibration of OM. So I'd like you to sit comfortably with your spine straight Relax your shoulders back and down and then close your eyes and follow with me repeating the sound of OM and focusing on the internal vibrations. Allow yourself to relax, begin to focus on your breath. Start to breathe a little bit more deeply. We're going to repeat the sound of OM three times on each slow, deep exhalation. Taking a deep breath in. Let's look in a little bit more detail at the nature of OM. Contained within the mantra OM are all the sounds of creation and all states of consciousness manifest and unmanifest. Om contains all of the first sounds that a baby utters, moving from the back of the mouth to the lips. Ah, o, u, m. There are these four manifest stages. Ah, when a baby is born into the world, it utters the cry, ah. 
This is both symbolic and literally the point of entering the physical plane of incarnation. Then, oh, as the baby begins to explore sound in the world, it proceeds to utter the sound of wonder. Oh, oh. And then, ooh, ooh, the sound of delight. And then, mmm, mmm, the sound of contentment. Thus, the mantra Aum contains all of these primordial sounds of manifestation in one. When OM is pronounced, the final M mm is continued to a tapering point reaching out to infinity. It fades away to an invisible an undetected end, like the sound of a bell or the sound of a crystal ball. The final two stages of Aum are the Nada, continuity, and the Bindu, infinity. These last two stages represent the condition of consciousness to which the meditator aspires. Let's practice OM again, feeling the full vibrations and its power within. Close your eyes, relax, Begin breathing deeply and follow with me. Ah. In the final part of this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to the visual or written form of the mantra Aum, which can also be used as part of your Japa Mala Mantra practice. 
This will just be an introduction and then later on in the final lesson we will use the visual form in practice. Om, in both its sound and its written forms, is said to contain all states of consciousness. The first three states representing the individual's psychological states. I'm going to use the diagram here to show you the different states and their meanings. So first of all, the waking state of consciousness is represented in the symbol by the bottom large curve around on the ground, the lowest level or state of consciousness. Moving off to the side, we have another curve and this represents the dream state of consciousness. Moving upwards to a higher level state of consciousness, the third level being the state of dreamless sleep. Then there are two further states of expanded consciousness. The first one represented by a small crescent moon shape just above the lower symbol, representing the state of continuity. And then finally, the very pinnacle, the dot above the crescent moon, representing infinity. Infinity translates to the ultimate state of supreme consciousness or unity consciousness, a non-egoic state which can be experienced as a state of non-separation between the individual self and the universal self. So as we have in ascending order, the lower states of consciousness moving up as we meditate to experience the higher states of consciousness to the super consciousness or unity consciousness. Unity consciousness sometimes is described with the word samadhi. The samadhi state is a state of bliss, a state where the normal daily concerns of life are transcendent. The mantra OM can be used by the meditator in both sound and visual forms, both of which are instruments to focus the mind, bringing it into entrainment or vibrational harmony. As the mind is brought into vibrational harmony, so are all the other states of being, physical, emotional, psychological and spiritual. 
In my next lesson in this video series, I will be showing you some more variations on using the mantra OM. And I will also be introducing you to the second element of this meditation practice, the mala, or string of sacred beads. In the meantime, practice the sound of OM. Close your eyes. Relax. Take a deep breath in and follow with me. Namaste.